today, i-relate naman natin ang complex numbers sa trigonometric function. So, unang-una natin gagawin is kung paano computein or kung paano hanapin yung absolute value ng isang complex number at kung paano i-convert ang complex number into its uh, trigonometric form. So, ang una-muna natin dapat malaman kung paano makuha yung absolute value or bago makuha yung absolute value ng complex number is kung paano i-graph ang complex number. If we have a, a function a plus bi, let's say y is equal to a plus bi, ang... Uh, axis nyo ngayon, hindi na siya magiging x and y. Dapat malaman nyo na yung uh, vertical axis nyo ngayon ng imaginary part ng mga complex number nyo at yung horizontal axis nyo, yung x-axis, will be your real part. So, kung i-graph ko, si, i -graph ko si a plus bi, my a will be my x-axis and my, b sub, my bi or my complex number or my imaginary number will be here in the vertical axis. So, ito yung point ng a plus bi. So, kung meron akong specific example, for example, 2 plus 3i at saka negative 4 plus 2i, kung igagraph ko siya dito sa axis natin, which is ito yung real part at ito yung imaginary part, yung graph ng 2 plus 3i will be positive 2, 1, 2, and positive 3i, so go up 3 units, 1, 2, 3. So, itong dot na to, ito yung iyong 2 plus 3i. At yung negative 4 plus 2i naman will be 1, 2, 3, 4. At saka positive 2, 1, 2. So, itong dot na nasa second quadrant. So, yan yung pag-graph ng uh, complex numbers sa xy plane. O kung ngayon, real part at saka imaginary part. Now, ang pagkuha naman ng absolute value ng complex number will be given by this formula, which is the absolute value of a plus bi which gives you the distance of the complex number from the origin. So, kung susukatin nyo daw yung uh, distance ng negative 4 plus 2i to the point of origin, makukompute mo siya, or mathematically, makukuha mo yung distance niya by this formula, which is the square root of a squared plus b squared. So, for our example, kung meron kang complex number na 3 minus 2i, at gusto mong malaman yung distance ng 3 minus 2i doon sa point of origin, gagamitin mo lang yung formula ng absolute value, which is square root of a squared plus b squared, wherein a is 3 and b is negative 2. So, plugging the problem to the formula, square root of 3 squared plus negative 2 squared will give you square root of 9 plus 4, and 9 plus 4 is equal to the square root of 13. So, yung distance ng 3 minus 2i, sa point of origin is simply square root of 13. Now, ito yung isa sa mga application ng uh, pagkuha ng absolute value ng isang complex number. So, in this case, between negative 2 plus 5i and negative 6i, which one is closer to the point of origin? So, hanapin nyo kung ano yung mas maikling distance doon sa point zero zero. So, gagawin natin is Gagamitan natin ng absolute value formula yung bawat complex number. So, yung first complex number natin, the negative 2 plus 5i, applying the formula for the absolute value, which is the square root of a squared plus b squared, will give you square root of negative 2 squared plus 5 squared. At kapag in-evaluate nyo siya using the formula, you'll have square root of 29. And square root of 29, using your cal calculator, will give you 5.38. At dito naman sa negative 6i nyo, ang a or ang real part nyo will be 0 at ang imaginary part nyo which is yung b will be negative 6. Using the formula, you'll get the square root of 36 and square root of 36 is 6. So between these two complex number, mapapansin nyo na mas maikli si 5.38 or mas maliit. So therefore, to answer the question, yung negative 2 plus 5i natin is closer to the point of origin since it has a shorter distance from the point of origin, which is 0, 0. So, yan yung paggamit ng absolute value sa problem tulad na ito. Ang susunod naman nating application ng complex number ay eh, ang pag-convert ng isang complex number into its trigonometric form. Now, meron tayong dalawang forms dito. Ito yung ating complex number at ang goal natin dito sa mga examples na to is to change the complex number into its trigonometric form. At ang trigonometric form ng complex number can be represented by z equal to r times cosine theta plus i sine theta. So, ang first example natin is to convert a complex number at yung complex number natin will be 4 plus 3i. So, to convert this into trig form, meron tayong tatlong steps. Una, kailangan mahanap nyo kung ano yung r 
pangalawa, hanapin nyo kung ano yung theta. At yung pangatlo, paggamit nitong formula na to to convert itong A plus BI into this um, formula. So yung step one is finding the R. R is simply the absolute value of your complex number. So gagamitin natin yung formula na ginamit natin do sa first few examples natin kanina, which is A squared plus B squared and then square root. Dito sa 4 plus 3i, ang A natin will be 4 at ang B is 3. Using the formula, we found out that R is equal to square root of 25, which is basically 5. At dito naman sa second step, kailangan nyo ng scientific calculator para makuha nyo yung angle theta. At yung theta is given by the formula tan inverse of B all over A. So since ang B natin is 3 at ang A natin is 4, by using the formula, tangent inverse of 3 over 4 will give us 0.75. At pag ginamitan natin siya ng scientific calculator, yung angle mo will be equal to 36.9. So ngayong nakuha na natin si R at nakuha na rin natin si theta, pwede na natin i-convert itong 4 plus 3i into its trig form. At ito yung third step. So using the formula, which is this one, just plug in the value of R, which is 5, and theta, which is 36.9, dito sa formula nyo. So, ang meron kang um, complex number ngayon in trig form will be 5 times cosine 36.9 plus I sine 36.9. Now, kung gusto nyo pa siyang i-further simplify, pwede mo pa siyang i-change into its polar coordinate. At ang polar coordinate ng inyong trigonometric form is simply 5 and 36.9 or yung R nyo at saka yung theta. So, parehas lang sila na mga value from 4 plus 3i into this form and into its polar coordinate. So, yan yung mga bagong um, anyo ng complex number na pwede nating magamit sa paggamit sa mga problems involving trigonometry. Now, pag samasamahin naman natin yung mga um, skills na natutunan natin today dito sa example na to. So, yung complex number natin is 3 minus 5i. Yung una natin gagawin is to sketch the graph of the complex number. At yung pangalawa is to find its absolute value at i-convert yung 3 minus 5i to its polar coordinate. So, yung first part will be easy kasi alam na natin kung paano mag-graph ng um, complex number. Ang real part nyo will be your x-axis at imaginary part will be your um, y-axis. So 3 is your real part, so you have 1, 2, 3. At yung 5i is your imaginary part which is negative. So you'll go down 5 units mula dito sa x. So andito ngayon yung 3 minus 5i. To sketch its graph para makuha natin yung uh, trig form nyo, pag um, kinonect nyo yung point of origin to 3 minus 5i, makikita natin yung distance mula sa 0, 0 to 3 minus 5i. And to compute for the distance from here to here, we'll answer letter B, which is the absolute value. So the absolute value of the complex number is square root of a squared plus b squared. At nakuha natin na yung absolute value of 3 minus 5i is simply square root of 34. So yung distance from point of origin to 3 minus 5i is simply square root of 34. Now to find the given angle, Using the formula para ma-convert natin siya into trig form, gagamitin natin yung formula na ginamit natin sa previous slide. So, alam na natin kung ano yung r, which is the absolute value of your complex number, square root of 64. Kailangan ko na lang computein yung um, theta or yung angle, which is given by 10 inverse of negative 5 over 3, or yung sa formula natin, b over a. So, yung b nyo is negative 5, yung a nyo is 3, which gives us... Um, theta equal to negative 59.04. Now, mapapansin nyo na negative yung value natin kasi from here, dun sa standard form nitong ating angle, puma, um, pumalo siya pababa kasi sa negative or sa um, fourth quadrant yung ating 3 minus 5i. Kaya nagkaroon tayo ng negative angle. So, to convert this into its polar form, you simply write yung... Uh, R value nyo, which is square root of 34, at yung theta nyo, which is negative 59.04. At yan yung pagsagot dito sa mga problems na ABC using doon sa skills na natutunan natin today.